Okay, so in this um, video, what we're going to do is review the procedures of when to flip the inequality when we are graphing um, an equation. All right, so the first equation we're going to look at here is, let's write it down here, we're going to look at the equation 6x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, so before we can graph this and, and start to move forward on the graph, okay, we want to make sure that we are putting this equation in the y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so that's what our goal is to do. So the first thing we should do here is move the 6x over to the other side. So we do that by subtracting 6x on both sides. Okay, that's going to leave our equation as 2x, or sorry, negative 2y greater than or equal to and then let's write the x term first. So that's the negative 6x and then plus 8. Okay, so that's going to be our sort of our second step. Okay, and then once we have this the equation in this form, we need to still isolate the variable y by itself. So what we do is we divide by the number in front of y, which in this case is going to be negative 2. Okay, and then so that's going to remove that term for us. And then we will be left with y by itself. Then we're going to have negative 6 divided by negative 2. Well, that's just going to give us plus 3x or 3x by itself. And then 8 divided by negative 2 is going to give us a negative 4. So the question is, what happens to the inequality in this case? Okay, so the rule is, is that if we have a negative value that we are dividing by in front of the y, okay, we want to invert or reverse the inequality. So if the inequality is greater than or equal to, our new form will be less than or equal to. Okay, so that's how the, um, the rule for that equation, the flipping the inequality goes when you end up dividing by a negative value. So now we need to plot what this equation looks like on a graph. Okay, so we have our two numbers here. We know what our slope is. Our slope is going to be 3 or 3 over 1 and our b, or our y-intercept, is going to be negative 4. Okay, it's the number, and you take the sign when if it's negative, it's going to be a minus 4. Okay, so in this case, b is negative 4, so we're just going to put a dot here on the y-axis at negative 4. We're going to do our slope. We'll do two lines, to, or two points. So up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. Okay, and then before we join our dots, we need to determine... Is this a dot, dot dashed or, or solid line? Okay, so is it dashed or solid? Okay, and that's, so that's the first question you should ask yourself. Now we know it's going to be dashed because the, uh, I mean solid, because the inequality is less than or equal to. Okay, so we're just going to connect the three points. Just let the line straighten out. Okay, and we can draw it edge to edge on the graph. Okay, so d dashed or solid, so we know it's going to be solid. Okay, and then the next thing we have to know is we have to know the shading. Okay, are we shading above? Okay, or below the line? Okay, so the uh, above the line is, um, I'll just put it here for A above, and then below the line is going to be here on the B side. Okay, and that line is the dividing part. So the way we, we look at it is we look at our inequality. If the inequality is less than, okay, then that means we are going to shade the lower region. Okay, so just remember, both start with the letter L, less than or lower. Okay, and then it's going to, if it was um, opposite, if it was greater than, okay, so if the inequality remained to be greater than, then we would shade the opposite side to that we would shade the upper side okay so that's just an easy way for you to kind of remember how to do the shading okay now you can use your test points and plug them in but we'll just we'll kind of cover that here in a second but we'll just use our rules so we know we're shading above or below well we know it's less than is the inequality therefore the shading part here will be below the line so it'll be uh, this part here that I've labeled B. All right. I'm just going to get rid of those letters though so we don't get too confused with that. And then if you wanted to verify this, okay, but again, you don't have to, but if you want to like mathematically prove something here, 
Okay, you will need to grab some test points or at least one test point and the one I always use is like the origin. Okay, and then you want to see whether the or that point is true or false in that region. Okay, so if our solution is below the line or we're shading the lower part of the line, that means if we use this test point at zero, zero, that should not be a true statement. It should be, it does not make a solution for this equation. Okay, so if I plug in here zero, zero, it's gonna be zero is less than or equal to three times zero is zero, and then that's gonna leave us with negative four. So is the question, is this true or false in terms of a math statement? Zero is less than negative four, okay? And the answer is that's false because zero is defined to be greater than all negative numbers, okay? So that means zero, zero, okay? This is not a solution, okay? So if it's not a solution, that means you should not, it should not be shaded or in the shaded region, okay? So that's what we have here. The zero, zero is not in the shaded region. So that means all those numbers above the line are not solutions, okay? Which means that we are just shading the lower part of the, of the line. Okay, so just to recap, that's how, when to flip the inequality. Okay, first start by putting it into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, move all the y's, leave the y's on the left, the x's on the right. Divide by the number that is in front of the y value. Okay, now the only time you really have to pay attention to this is when it's a non, not a number one, okay, and it's, an, and, it's, um, and it's a negative value. So if it's a negative value, okay, right away you reverse the inequality, okay, then work out um, the division for each of the two terms that's left in the equation, okay, plot your line using the slope and the intercept, okay, and then go through the steps, okay, if it, is it less than, shade lower, if it's greater than, shade the upper. Okay, so that's how you would remember to do this type of a problem.